this is Rosa Kelly. So today we're going to continue on the Cascading Petals mini album tutorial. As you know, this is a tutorial for JS Hobbies and Crafts and I'm going to have the link to the store down below. And so, so far we work on the binding, the pages, and for this album we are doing something different which is we created the pages first and now we're adding different uh, booklets on top of each page so you can see i did the ones on the back just basically because they match the colors you can pick and choose where you put your layouts throughout your book and now i'm going to work on a few more booklets to add into these pages here as well so we're going to move right along and we are going to start with some cardstock and i'm going to cut this piece at six and a half mm, here we go we're going to cut one piece at six and a half by five inches there you go and that's gonna be the base of a little booklet here and then we're going to do two pieces of six and a half by three and a quarter so I'm just going to measure three and a quarter and same thing here measure three and a quarter which is right there and we're creating a little gatefold uh, booklet here so I'm trying to make my booklets different so they're fun to do and now we're going to score these two small sections at half an inch and three quarter inches. So let's do half and three quarters and half and three quarters. And then we're going to place these two pieces on our base. So I'm going to bring this piece over here. We're going to fold along the score lines these two sections same thing here fold along the score lines and then we're going to add some glue on this half an inch section right there and we're just going to line this up with our base so I'm going to put one on each side just like that so when you're gluing this you want to have this flat okay just like that and then you're going to stand up your little quarter inch gusset like so so now we're gonna do the same on the other side of this page just like that and again i'm just going to line that up and there you go so now we have the base ready and we're going to do some layouts for the inside as well so when you stand up your gussets these two pieces on the middle should match okay so now i'm going to work on the inside so i have this piece left and i'm going to start with that so we're going to cut a long section here of four and three quarters and we're going to cut this at six inches and I'm going to do the same with one more page four and three quarters by six inches okay so let's cut that let me do two and then I'm going to cut these two pieces at six inches. So we have six of those. And we're going to score at half an inch along the six inches. So let's go ahead and place that onto your scoreboard. And we're going to do half an inch. And same thing for all of these pieces here. So then we're going to bring this base back in here and we're going to fold along the score lines. So we are going to do three on top of each other and then we're gonna add that into our base. 
So I'm going to start with this three right here. And I'm just going to glue along the top on the other piece. Okay, so we're lining up the corners. And then we're going to do the next one. And just place that right on top. And then we're going to add some more glue on this piece. And we're gonna add all of these ones on top, inside your base. Okay, so you want to center that. And there you go. And then we're going to do the same with the other three pieces. So I'm going to fold along the score lines. And then we're just going to place them together. Some glue, just right on top. Okay, and one more. And there you go. And then we're going to open these and we're going to place this second side on the bottom. So some glue here. So it's a little bit similar to the other booklet that we created. I'm just gonna place that right there like so. And then we are going to close these by just doing one of each on top. That way it's not too bulky on either side. And then this is going to close up like that. So now we're going to do the closure for this little booklet. So I'm going to be using this design here and then also some um, gold cardstock. So my gold cardstock is going to be cut at six and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I need two pieces of that. And then I'm going to cut three six by six piece on the bottom. And I like this one that has the two little birdies, so it's really symmetrical. So I'm just going to cut this out first. And then I'm going to cut two inches here for this little bird. And then I'm going to do two inches on the other side for the other little bird. Okay, so now we have those pieces. And I'm just going to glue this on top of each other like that. And I'm going to start with this one. Just right there. And then we're going to do this other one. So just add some glue and place this one right there like so. Okay, so now I am going to add the first one on the left and then we're going to do a magnet before we add the second piece. Okay, so I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to use a sentiment from the paper collection. So I'm going to just cut this little one. This one says, life beautiful moments. And I think that's a pretty one to have. So I'm just gonna cut this one out. And then I'm going to also back this up on some gold cardstock. So I'm just going to cut this out first. And then I'm going to glue that on my scrap piece of gold foil. So I'm just going to glue this right here. And then we're going to just cut around it. And sorry about all the glare, but that's what happens when you work with gold foil. So I'm just making a little frame like that. 
and I'm also going to back this up on some cardstock. So before I back this up on cardstock, I am going to do a magnet behind this piece. So I'm going to peel off my magnet right there. And I'm going to add the magnets on the right side. So I'm just going to put it behind like so. Ah, that's fine. And then we're going to back this up on cardstock one more time. So I'm going to add my glue and just place this on my white cardstock, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to cut around one more time this whole piece so just something like that okay so now we have the center piece for our gatefold and we are now going to place this right here on the center so i'm just going to add some glue on this half section just like right there and you're going to place this right on the middle, just like that, okay? So maybe more that way. And now we're going to do our second magnet right there. You're going to peel off this little tape. And then we're going to make sure our gussets are perpendicular to the table and that our centers are matching Okay, and then we're going to press down on this magnet. And then we want to detach them. There you go. And now we're ready to add the other piece here. So I'm just gonna place that right there. And there you go. So now we have our little booklet. We're going to add paper on the inside later on. And there you go. Okay, so now we're going to work on the next booklet. And on this one, I'm going to make two that are the same. So I'm just going to cut my 12 by 12 page into 12 by 4. And I am going to do four of these pieces. So I'm going to need one more piece of 12 by four. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it from a new sheet. I don't think I have any scraps, but you might, I'm not sure. Okay, so we need four of those, and then I'm going to use two pieces of scraps, and I'm going to cut these at four by one. Okay, so we're gonna need two of these little sections. So then we're going to score these pieces at four and at eight inches. And we're going to do the same for all four pieces here. And then we're going to score the small pieces at half an inch. And these are going to be our connector pieces. Okay, so there you go. And then we're going to fold along the score lines and we're going to join two together using our connector pieces. So I'm just gonna fold as an accordion like that. And same thing here. Okay, so we're gonna fold it like this. And then we're going to fold our small connector piece along the score lines again. And then we're going to glue these onto the accordion folds. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to add this at the end of one of the sections, just like that. And then we're going to add some glue here as well. 
and we are going to grab the ends of the other accordion fold and just glue it right on top like that okay so now we have our long accordion fold super easy to do and i'm going to do the same on this other one as well so we're folding along the score lines this one as well and then I have my connector piece there you go and we're just going to join these two together so I'm going to grab the end piece and just line this up and then we're going to add some glue oops this is a little crooked so I'm going to fix it really quick and then we're going to add some glue and just add the end of this accordion fold as well and there you go okay so now we have these two accordion fold sections and i'm going to cover this up with my paper so again i'm going to do gold and then some design paper so the gold is going to be cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters and i'm just going to cut these ones at three and a half by three and a half which is perfect perfect size okay so i'm just gonna do one and this one here okay three and a half perfect by three and a half okay and now i'm just going to glue this down so we're going to start with the gold or actually with the design piece on top of the gold just like that and now i'm just going to add my glue and we're going to place that right there and let's do the same for this other one here oh i actually like this side oh, i think i'm gonna do this side so cute okay they're both cute so i'm just going to add this i'm going to make sure this is opening to the side mm -hmm. just like that and this one is also opening to the side so that's that's good and then we're going to add this paper right there on top and then i'm going to use some ribbon here for my closure so i'm just gonna cut this long piece and i'm gonna put this on the back and i am going to tie this and so i think i cut this too small but i'll check and yeah, see if that works hmm. let's see it looks really cute i think we'll keep it okay so then i'm going to do another one and now this one has to purposely be small <laughs> okay so i'm just going to do the same we're going to tie this right here and then we're going to secure this with some double-sided tape on the back and then we're going to glue this onto our page also so so here we go have another one and this one's much bigger so i'm just gonna trim it so they don't look too uneven okay and then i'm going to secure my ribbon using some tape so I'm just going to put this on the center and just add two pieces here, one and two. 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep that on the side. And same thing with this one. Okay, so one and two. Okay, and there we go. So now we have our two cute little accordion, oops, accordion booklets. And now we're going to make two more and we'll be done. So for the next one, I'm going to use the leftover piece that I had and this measures eight by 12. So I'm going to cut this down at seven and a half by 12. And then I am going to, um, let's do the scoring first and then we'll, we're going to cut, okay? So I'm going to score this piece at four and at eight okay so i want this to be a little trifold but i want to make, make this trifold a little bit different so i am going to trim from one corner down to about i don't know two inches so i am just going to let's see we can pencil mark i think so I'm going to pencil mark here, two inches from the from the top, okay? So I have made a little mark right there. And now I'm going to cut a line from this two inch line up to the corner. So for that, I'm just going to place this on my cutting board, a diagonal, diagonal like this, okay? So we're just now going to cut just like that and now you're making your trifold just a little bit more interesting and we are going to fold this so I'm going to fold this in like so and then I'm going to fold this one to the other side okay how fun is this super quick easy and then it looks really nice when you open it and then you will also see your different design papers here as well so i am going to add a magnet on this trifold as a closure so i'm going to do a magnet on the inside here and then we're going to do a magnet oops i think it will be this one um on this side and then we're gonna attach it to that side okay so i'm just gonna take out the stickiness or the paper and just place it right there so now we have a closure for your little trifle page and now we're going to embellish this. And another good thing about these little trifles is that you only need to work with scraps or um, just a small pieces of paper. So I'm going to cut this piece here. And I'll show you how we're going to dress up this trifle. So I'm just going to start with a piece of three and three quarters because this measures four right and i'm going to just take out the white space right there and then i'm going to place this right on where i want to add it okay so let me just center it on the bottom i'm leaving my spacing on the sides as i always do and now i'm just going to mark right here and this will be right there and then I'm going to cut a diagonal piece oh you know what I'm going to do gold <laughs> before I do that so I'm going to do the same step with the gold paper so I'm going to cut a section of three and three quarters and then I'm gonna hold this backwards so I can mark it uh, we are going to cut these. Well, actually, no, because then my gold will be in reverse. Um, so I'm just going to mark this right here to right here. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this 
diagonal like that and that should fit perfect which means i need to cut this one a bit smaller so this one's gonna be cut at three and a half and then i'm going to place that on top of my gold and i'm actually gonna bring this down so i don't cut on the window and then i'm going to mark here where i'm cutting i'm gonna erase that previous pencil mark so i'm actually just going to add this corner right there i don't know if you can see that so i'm just lining up this corner right there and i am going to mark where i'm going to cut on this corner okay so i'm going to match those two points and then i'm just going to trim off the bottom okay so first i'm going to do the corners oops so from the corner to the mark and then i'm going to take out a little bit here okay. and now this piece should fit there you go perfect so i'm going to glue these two together okay and then we are going to glue this onto our page here. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna glue that onto our trifold. And these trifolds make beautiful cards as well. Okay, so there you go. So now we have the first piece of your trifle and we're going to repeat the same technique and now we're going to do it on this side and there you go now we have our beautiful little trifold and when we open it we still have to decorate in there or you can leave it blank for pictures and same thing here so i will be doing that in a little bit but now let's move on to our next booklet so for this one i am going to need four pieces of five and a half by six inches so i'm going to start with those two okay five and a half by six same thing here five and a half by six inches okay and i just want to do a square booklet mainly because i want to use this beautiful piece here and also the collection has those six by six images and this will be the perfect way to use it we just need to trim this a little bit smaller on this booklet so first let's go ahead and score let me break this out uh, we're going to score at half an inch along the six inch sides. Okay, so we're gonna place that right there and do half an inch. And here we go. So now I'm going to fold along the score lines. And we are just going to build a booklet that is going to have all of these pieces on top of each other so i'm going to start with these ones and i'm just lining these two up they all have the half an inch flap on the same side side okay so i'm going to do this one as well just right on top and one more okay and I'm just going to add that right here. So now we're going to do a piece of five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to save that. And there you go. So we need one more piece and that's going to be our base. And then I'm going to cut a piece of maybe two inches. Okay, now let's do two and a half. And this is going to be the closure for that booklet. 
Okay, so now I'm going to glue these onto my base. So I'm going to add the glue right here and just line this up again. Okay, and then I want to make sure I don't cover my beautiful birds. So I think fleece is going to go on the sides, my little closure belt. But I'm going to trim this just a little bit smaller. So this piece is going to be um, two and a half by three and a half. Okay. And I'm going to score this piece at half an inch and three quarter inches. And then we are going to add this as our closure. So I'm just folding along the score lines and make sure your booklet opens this way. And then we're going to add this piece on the very last page. You can either add it, add it here or add it on the back. And I think I like it better adding it this way. So I'm just going to put some glue right there like so and place this on the back on the center as well and there you go and then we're going to do our last two magnets so so you see the one pack of magnets was perfect for this project okay sometimes you need a lot <laughs> Sometimes you don't need that much and I'm going to just now add my magnets so I'm going to start with this piece and just place it right there and then the one on top and now this little belt have this quarter inch gusset so you want to stand that gusset up because once you add pictures you are going to need that space and then I'm going to press down, right there like so. And now I'm ready to add my beautiful page here for my birds. And I'm trying to see if I have some gold pieces, but they are all small pieces at this point, so I'm going to cut a new one. And this is going to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter and then my little bird is going to be five by five okay and let me do those two first so let's go ahead and glue these together And we're just going to center. There you go. And now I'm going to add this right here. Okay, so same thing. We're going to add some glue. And there you go. And now I'm going to cover that little section right there. So I think... That is going to be two and a quarter by, I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to mark it right there. So this is two and a half, two and a half. Okay, so two and a quarter by two and a half. Let's do that right there. And now I'm just going to add another piece. Oh, I think I'm going to add this little bird here. That way it looks like they're looking at each other. So I'm just going to, let's see, how can I cut this? I need this piece to be two and a quarter. So I just need a small piece. Two and a quarter by two. I am just going to hmm, let's do a two inch 
right so i'm just going to start from the top and get this little piece out perfect oh how cute they look ah, it's like the mommy and and the baby <laughs> so i'm going to just glue this right here and we are done with this booklet as well okay so now we're ready to add our booklets into our book and let's go ahead and open this up and now we can pick and choose where you want to add your booklet so i kind of already know i made this one smaller so i can add them right here um so i'm just going to glue these ones down and i do have to take out the tape for this two and so I'm just going to do some glue and we're going to place one right there and then we're going to do the other one as well okay there you go And same thing, so I'm just gonna try to make it even. And I think that looks good. Right there. So you have room for small pictures. You also have larger pictures. So I think here I want to do my trifold. Actually, let's do the first one first. Let's see which one looks bad this one is the same design so i'm not doing that this one would look really pretty but i think this one since this has the um uh, the title right there it will be nice for the first page i think okay so i'm just going to glue these booklets onto my page right there right on the center there you go so i'm gonna open this up so i can press down and now we're going to do the last two which are here so i guess we can do one on each side like that right okay yes okay so i'm just going to glue this now and there you go let's do one here that's so pretty this paper and now we're going to do this one as well and just like that so then for my page inserts, I am going to need four pieces of six and a half by eight and a half. And then you're going to see that you will have a little bit of extra room in there if you want to do a border punch. So I'm going to use this half an inch border punch from Martha Stewart. And I am just going to do these all along the sides here okay so i'm just going to add these inserts into my pages now and you can of course decorate these as well we have plenty of paper left to do so so i'm just going to add mine like this for now and then i'm going to finish up just decorating the inside covers using my remaining uh, flowers here from the same package so i'm just going to take this out see if i can do this i don't know if i can take those out as well okay here we go and we are just going to add maybe we'll do one on the front and one on the back and I definitely don't want to co uh, cover this beautiful birdie over there. So I'm just going to do something like that. Yeah, that would be pretty. So I'm just going to start with this one. 
just going to add some glue right there so this can come up like so okay and then we're going to do some flowers let's see maybe like this just like so so I'm going to do some glue right there and right here and just add that just like that and then just a little bit of color using this pretty like li li lilac I think these are lilac or pink dark pink and we're just going to add these ones right there oh I love these flowers so pretty and then we're going to do maybe one here and I love how the bird is just like peeking from the back and on this one I'm going to put it on this on the side of the door and let me see yeah I think that looks so pretty and then of course some of these other color ones and you get quite a lot of flowers on that little piece so I am just going to glue this one first some glue right there and then I'm going to glue my flower and these little pieces as well and of course you can decorate even more the inside pages using more beautiful flowers and there you go i think that should be good and there you go so now we're done with our book and i'm going to come back and do the final walkthrough after i finish adding all the papers on the inside just make it a little bit more complete and so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial i hope that you give it a try don't forget to visit js hobbies and crafts i'm gonna have the link on the description box below and i want to thank you so much for watching see you on the next one bye bye